Trey Veston here, and I am in beautiful Idaho up by McCroskey State Park. Got up here on my KLR and uh, do some thoughts, quick video on the thoughts on it. Hopefully, the footage I have a GoPro, uh, but it's like a weird Chinese one. So, hopefully, we got some video on the ride up here and kind of show you the terrain. Alrighty, this is the uh, first official time I've taken this bike off-road since buying it brand new a couple weeks ago down in Boise, Idaho. It's the last one in the region in this color and spec. So, uh, yeah, so this is a, uh, it starts out as a gravel road. It's, it's windy, but it's beautiful. Uh, not a whole lot of traffic up here. And it's, it's kind of a fine gravel, a pea gravel road is what it starts out. And then it transitions more into dirt with some scattered gravel. First impressions, first time I've taken it off road up in the woods. The bike has all the ground clearance you need. It has all the power you need, um, has the capability, but I don't know if it's the tires or just simple physics, but this thing just scares the crap out of me. <laughs> off-road and on-road most of the time. Uh, my other bike's a 94 Harley Road King and I have a blast on it. It's like driving a lazy boy down the road. It's great, it's loud, it's obnoxious, people give you a thumbs up. Uh, it's a cool bike, beautiful. The KLR is, it's heavy and riding on this road it just seemed like I didn't put it down, uh, but you know, I grew up in, or in this area on these same roads on little dirt bikes, little 50s and 100s. And you know, you would you would ride, you go, if you went too fast, you could put your foot down and you just kind of slid around the corner, you flat tracked it, you know, it was a blast. This bike, you can't do that. Because once you, if you try to find the limits, by you know leaning over and putting your foot down it's gonna dump on you it's it's almost 500 pounds with all the stuff i've got on it and i don't dare put a full fuel tank in it or fill the fuel tank because that just six gallons out of that high is just it's horrible on road and off road so i usually keep a half tank or less in it um so yeah it's not a confidence inspiring bike yeah, not at all. Shout out to uh, Dork in the Road. He's got a great channel. Just hit 50,000 subscribers. And uh, articulate, great guy, humble. Uh, he's started off as a beginner rider like me. And um, yeah, I'm still a beginner. You know, the Harley, I didn't, I didn't feel this much trepidation riding it. But... The KLR650, I don't know if it's the tires, I've got the pressure is, is high, it's set for the highway at 30, 30 or 32 rear, and then I've got two PSI more in the front. So it's it's not too bad on the highway now. But off-road, it's just, it's sketchy going around corners. So um, you can see I was able to keep a pretty good pace on this road uh, about, I think I'm, I average about 20 miles per hour which isn't bad, uh, but I was just, every time I went into a corner, it just did not feel stable. I was scared to death of using the front brake and having the front tire lock up and slide out from under me, so I just used the rear brake or just downshifted. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and once we got off the main road, then we came up this little side, side road. Uh, it's, it's more of a single single track to double track trail trail and that took me up to the lookout and this road once i hit it man that front tire any rock small rock stick even freaking pine cones the front tire would hit them and it would roll over it would want it would it was just a horrible feeling to, to hit any obstacles with that front tire so i didn't didn't dump it on the way up kept a pretty good pace and I tried to stay loose on it and just enjoy the ride but being fourth of July weekend there's a lot of traffic on the road so I was always paranoid that I'd meet somebody head-on and uh, I did meet a few people head-on but uh, 
I had plenty of time to, to get over, slow down, so no issues. But yeah, initial impressions of the KLR going up to the lookout is it's still, it's not confidence inspiring. It's still sketchy and top heavy and it sucks. <laughs> so there you go. Let's take a look at the bike in greater detail. All righty, we are at the site of an old Forest Service lookout tower. And that is the Palouse. We're facing south towards Moscow, Idaho. Uh, Palouse, Washington's that way. And Potlatch is that way. There's one of the old bases. It's a really cool spot. Uh, there's another the foundations. Uh, road to get up here. It's a little windy, um, barely bigger than a single track. And it's about, it's an easy trail. Uh, it's not steep. It's not too rutted. But for the KLR, it was a bit sketchy a few times. Those tires are just... Now, I've got the pressure up to 32 PSI. Should it be down to 20 for off-road? But I've got a 20-mile ride on the highway, so thought that will be fine. But it's pretty, pretty sketchy. Um... So on this bike, this is 2022 KLR 650. Um, I've done a few things. I've added the dirt racks crash bars after having crashed. <laughs> Wish I had them on before. Um, let's see, also added the uh, Tusk Deflex uh, hand guards. Those work very well. I've added uh, 3D cycle windshield risers because uh, I'm 6'2", and that really helped get the wind off of off of my face. I got a little phone mount, some Chinese knockoff. I've installed a uh, really cool USB port thing here that also monitors my battery strength. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, showing 12.4 volts, a waterproof cover on it. Yeah, it's been great. I've got it charging my uh, GoPro right now, sitting in there. Added the tank bag, and that's been helpful. Keep some uh, chargers, tire pressure gauge, and a 10 millimeters in there. Now let's see what else. Oh yeah, the throttle lock, throttle stop thing. Uh, Crude cruise control, it works well enough to let me rest my hands for a moment or two on the highway. I've added the Tusk pannier racks, and I've added an Apache case. This is the 4800 series, I think they're 65 bucks. Um, <clears throat> mounted that on there, and it works, works well. It's light, solid. It's got, I wish it was a little bigger, but I don't want it too tall. That's the big thing with this bike, because it's just so stinking top-heavy. Um, I know, so yeah, I've added these, I can't remember the brand, uh, foot pegs. Way better than the factory rubber ones, like on the rear passenger, you can see those. And then I've got this other little bag here, uh, spider's bag. I had that, came with my Harley, and I just threw it on there for a little extra storage. And you get it filled up with a coat, and it makes some wonderful uh, lower back support, <laughs> lumbar support for you. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the bike. Um, like I said, I've got a 94 Harley Road King, and it is just, of course, so much more comfortable on the street. And... This thing, I mean, any bit of wind, you're getting thrown around. It's so top-heavy off-road, it just feels like it wants to tip out uh, tip out from under you. The front end feels sketchy. I don't know how much of that is these factory awful tires and how much is just the physics of the bike uh, with the, uh, the height and the weight up tall. I don't. I've learned real quick, do never fill the fuel tank because then it's just really, really tippy then. 
So, and it'll get out from, you just can't keep it. Once it wants to go at the full tank, you can't stop it. It's, it's about 500 pounds now. So anyway, so I'll probably sell this thing. You know, it's so cool. It looks cool, but I mean, I bought it so I could explore the mountains up here. And the trail I came up is about as easy as it gets. And this thing really struggled. So it's just not going to work out for me for exploring mountains. I mean, my skill level is not high enough for the bike, I think. Um, I have no problems with my Harley on the street. Feels great. Love it. It's fun. This thing, I'm just <clears throat> nervous all the time. It's always just requires constant, constant attention and correction. So, yeah, I think I'll probably sell it and uh, probably get my money out of it. It's got, I think it's got like 200 miles on it. So, anyway, I mean, for uh, somebody that's gonna just ride and rural highways and and uh dirt roads i mean everything here is gravel deep gravel so it's just you about fall over constantly so so yeah i think it's a cool bike but it's just it doesn't do dirt well and it doesn't do the street well so i'm just going to buy an an atv for the street or for the the dirt for exploring the mountains and maybe keep just keep my Harley for having fun on the street this summer. So, alrighty, there's my take on the 2022 KLR 650, and uh, it's Trey Veston out. And I'm gonna go enjoy the beautiful outdoors. Looks like we've got some uh, some rainstorms building. So, probably want to get home before that. Alrighty, Trey Veston out. <laughs>